السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مادة البور سيستم أناليسيز للطلاب المرحلة الرابعة جامعة التكنولوجية قسم هندسة الكهروميكانيك الموضوع المحاضرة اليوم هي Unsymmetrical Fault Single Line to Ground Fault Part 1 يلقيها على مسامعكم دكتور غسان عبد الحسين بلال First of all let's define the unsymmetrical fault that means is unbalanced condition which is unbalanced condition that the voltages and current become unbalanced after the fault so when the fault is happening in the power system circuit so they're gonna be voltages and the current become unbalanced that means the unsymmetrical fault so this fault may occur at the terminal of the generator so you have the generator on the power system uh, circuit and then you have motor or so there is gonna be where, where have been in, at the terminal of the voltages okay of the generator sorry and may take place either through zero impedance so the fault is gonna be faulted a bolted short circuit fault that means zf equals zero or the with, with the impedance zf okay with the value of the impedance so the assumption of the asymmetrical fault so the bar system operates under balanced steady state condition before the fault occur so before the faults happen to the to the system so the bar system is a steady system for example so when you have the electricity at your home that means the stable when there is a shutdown to the electricity that means there's something happen which is mean a fault happen in the system that cut the electricity okay so those the zero positive and negative sequence uh, network so we're gonna uncouple the sequence network to the three type which is zero positive sequence uh, and before the anything happen to the system so before the fault happen or which is with a steady state still okay during asymmetrical fault they are interconnected only at fault location so the zero positive sequence for the sequence network which is, is going to be interconnected at the point of the location of the fault okay so the pre-fault load current is neglected because of this so we're going to neglect the pre-fault current and then the positive sequence internal voltages of all machines are equal to the pre-fault voltages so, so this uh, so all the volt internal voltage is going to be equal to the vf however so the pre-fault at each pass in the positive sequence network equal to the vf okay all the resistance is going to be neglected so i want to highlight this so in the previous lecture i was uh, calculate the asymmetrical fault by using the component sequence as I calculated with the matrix, if you remember the IA naught, IA1, IA2, and then there is the matrix for the A's, and then the phases, uh, current or voltage. So you're gonna calculate the asymmetrical fault by using the component sequence. Now in this lecture, the asymmetrical fault you're gonna use the three. Uh, you're gonna be classified to three types, which is single line to ground fault, line to line fault, and double line to ground fault. So this fault, so this lecture is going to be um, uh, explain the single line to ground and how you're going to calculate it, which the circuit is, and so on so far. Uh, other cla uh, uh, next uh, classes, we are going to explain the line and double line to ground. Okay. So the single line to ground fault occurs at phase A. So if you see this circuit, so you have three phases, phase A, B, C. So the fault happened at this point F which is at phase A and the other two phases gonna be equal zero so I B zero I C one as the boundary condition said so you have just this fault so this fault is sometimes is called faulted fault with a ZF equals zero if with the value that means there is fault with a ZF the value of the ZF okay so if the ZF zero that means this equation this is the draw voltage is gonna be V A equals zero so the sequence current, this the circuit, or uh, this is the matrix of the sequence current. So uh, I B zero, I C zero. Okay. So you're gonna calculate, multiply one by a a one plus one zero plus one zero. You will get this uh, equation. Uh, so also you're gonna multiply this by this. So you're gonna solve this. You will get this equation. It's really important. I A not I A one I A two equal I one over three. I A. So 
Also for the voltage, if you add all this sequence voltage, it is going to be equal to VA. So if you use VA0, VA1, VA2, and this is the same, I, 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 VA, VB, VC, so you will get this equation. If you solve it, you will get the VA equal 3ZF IA1. So this is two equations which is really important. And solve this equation by add all the draw voltage. This is for zero because it doesn't has uh, source and this is for the positive has V F it call or V A and this is for the negative equal 3 Z F I A so by solving this so you will get the final equation formula which is really important and this is for single line to ground fault I A naught I A 1 I A 2 equal V F over Z no Z 1 Z 2 plus 3 Z F if the Z F it has volume if Z F is not have a value that mean uh, this part is going to be zero also all this equal one over three i a so this is the fault fault at phase a if you want to calculate the current at phase a so you have to calculate this sequence and then multiply three by this to calculate i okay so the interconnected sequence current is shown figure this is the circuit of the single line to ground so this is the positive this is the negative and this is the zero connected with the uh, ZF, so which is a 3ZF. This is the circuit of single line to ground volt. So this is the drop voltage. How are you going to calculate the drop voltage? Is the circuit. So this is drop voltage VF equal I A1 Z1 plus VA1. So to calculate VA1, so VF, this is VF, okay, minus Z1 I A1. So this is the this is the equation okay for this one so the drop voltage VA2 equal minus IA2Z2 which is this one for this one VA naught minus because there is no source so the source if the source zero here this is minus right so zero zero minus IA2Z2 okay you will get VA2 for this Z naught, so zero minus Z naught I A naught equal V A naught, so it's gonna be this one. Okay, so this three really three equation is really important. V A naught, V A one, V A two to calculate the sequence for the for the single line to ground force. So for special case, it's the same equation except that the Z F is gonna be with ZF equal zero. So the equation for IA1 is this plus 3ZF. 3ZF is going to be zero. All the current equal IB, IC is the zeros. This is the IA equal 3IA1. And all the voltages is the same. So let's take example. A single line to ground fault occurs on phase A. So this phase A, which is with a fault. Uh, with the uh, S is 30 mega volt ampere S base and V base 11 kV star connected three phase generator. So the generator is operating at no load at traded uh, terminal voltage. It has a sub transient reactance of 0.5 per unit and negative 0.3 and zero sequence 0.08 respectively. Assume that generator neutral is grounded through a reactance so this is grounded so this is the grounded with a reactance of 5 ohm calculate the fault current and phase voltages so the v square over s is going to be calculate the s base and this is the actual divide by s base you will get the uh, z1 which is not v this is wrong so you will get the Z, which is 1.24. This is the Z for the ground through a reactance. So the Z, Z or XN, the ZN or XN, it's not VA1, okay? So the initial voltage VF or call EA equal 1 to the angle 0. So we're going to apply this formula because it's a voltage. There is no a 3 ZF, right? ZF equals zero, so V1, VF or EA is one over Z naught. This this Z naught point oh oh eight plus three XN. So three XN one point two four multiplied by three. Okay, or ZN. 
so you will get the z naught this is z naught z1 is 0.5 and c2 is 0.3 now so you apply this formula add all this together you will get the ia ia1 which is equal ia0 and ia2 so to calculate the phase current which is 3 ia0 or ia1 so you will that 3 by this value you will get the current in per unit for a pole current so to calculate in actual so you need to calculate the i base so s base divided by root 3 v base and you will get the I base multiplied by the per unit, you will get the actual subtransient fault count. For a phase voltages, so you apply this voltages VA naught, VA1, VA2, you have the formula as explained before. So this is for zero. So you multiply IA naught, you have the value of Z naught, you have it. And then for E1 or V1 is 1 plus minus IA1, Z1, you have all this value. And this formula IA2, Z2, so you will get the three value of VA0, VA1, VA2. So by applying this formula, so you have this VA0, VA1, VA2. So this is phase voltages, and this is the sequence. So you multiply 1 by this, plus 1 by this, plus 1 by this, you will get 0, 1 by this multiply by 1 to the angle 240 by this 1 to the 220 by this and the same you will get this value and for the v c it is the same so this is three voltages is which is called phase voltages and this is that you want to calculate the second example which is one line diagram of a power system is shown in figure below this is the figure i give you the example the same um, for this kind of circuit so calculate the subtransient fault current in per unit and in actual for a pulse single line to ground you give you a hint here which is single line to ground short circuit from phase A to ground at pass 2 also calculate the per unit line to ground voltages at faulted pass 2 pre fault voltages 1.05 to angle 0 and B faults load current are negative. So you have a single line to ground. So you have this boundary condition, I B I C equals zero. Also bolted, which is means Z F equals zero. So you apply this formula, V F over Z one Z one Z two. So all this, you have it. So this is the generator, this is transformer, this is the line, this transformer, and this is the motor. So you you see the connection. So you're gonna this gonna be open and this is to ground and this is gonna be to ground and this is gonna be open so it's gonna be with this impedance to ground is open with this for transformer for transmission line for transformer and the to ground and it's open on the uh, reactance of the motor so this all this system so you have all this value for motor for generator for transformer for the line and for the transformer and for motor and you have the base the base which is 100 megavolt so it's not gonna affect it so the value of all reactants which is the same this is for zero for negative for positive for the motor or for uh, for the generator and um, this is the voltage this is for the line so you're gonna calculate all this to convert to the per unit so this transformer one, this uh, this transmission line, this transformer two. So the fault here. So you're gonna see from the point of the fault. So you have this two impedance with the three x n, and this is the x n for the motor. So add them together to get to calculate the z naught, which is uh, zero sequence. So just for the zero sequence, you're gonna you're gonna see this here is open circuit. So. <coughs> For the x space, you have s space squared over 100. So for the transmission line, you will get this is the x space for transmission line, okay? And you have the value for actual for transmission line divide actual divide by base. You will get the per unit, and then you're gonna uh, cer uh, draw the circuit of the zero sequence. So this is the impedance that you calculated, which is just this two, okay? And this is the current, and this is the V naught.
for the positive sequence, which is this is for transformer, this is for uh, transmission line, this is for transport circuit transformer, and this is for generator and this is for motor. So the fault here, so all this, which is uh, a series, so you're gonna add them together parallel with point two. So all this and then parallel with point two, you will get Z1. So the Z1, so you know, as I mentioned, the positive sequence, it has a source. So you need to put source. The voltage for this the V volt is given on point O5 and the Z1 is this value and VA1, which is this, okay? For transmission line, you have, this is the base. And this is for the, because you're gonna take for positive and negative. So the value of the positive negative, if you see in the circuit, this is the positive and negative, and this is for the uh, zero. So when I calculate, this is this is for the zero we take we took, and this is for the negative and positive twenty. So you're gonna divide actual over the base, you get this value. For the negative, which is the same but without source, so you will get calculate the Z two. So all this is adding together with this in parallel so you will get the z2 and then doesn't have a source so this is the value on this i2 so the vf divided by z0 z1 z2 now you have z0 z2 and z1 all together divide by the vf you have it and then you will calculate ia1 so when you calculate ia1 which is ia2 ia2 1 and 2 are not all the same you will get to get to get IA just multiply by three. So you will multiply by three to get IA, which is the false current at phase A, which is the all that you want. This is bearing with for actual you have to calculate the base and then multiply together to get the I actual. For the sequence voltage, which is the same, you have the three formula VA naught, VA1, VA2, this formula that you know. Just you, you have a a naught z naught a a one. Just substitute all this. You will you will calculate v a naught v a one v a two. And from this, so you will have this matrix. Uh, add them this the value for v a v b v c uh, v a naught v a one v a two. So multiply this row by this column. You will get this value. This row by this column, you will get this value, and this row by this column, you will get this value. I hope you get something um, understanding, and if you have any question, please email me or contact me at WhatsApp. Um, thank you so much.